Oh, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video and today we will be looking at top three most expensive yachts in the world. So, without further ado, let's get right into the video. Yachts are about as much of a calling card of the upper class as anything else, whether it be on the high seas or ported at a travel destination for all to see. These floating vessels of luxury are sure to draw in lots of attention. Today, we won't just be looking into your typical yacht or even super yacht, but instead, we are going to have an inside view into the world's three most expensive yachts. But first, a quick disclaimer. Whenever dealing with the extremely luxurious, it can be difficult to get consistent and accurate information in regards to the pricing or other private details. It's not atypical for an incredibly rich individual to keep their cards close to home and not disclose how much they actually pay. Oh, by the way, I'm in my bathroom. There's the toilet. Incredibly rich person to embellish when disclosing how much they actually paid for it. So, that being said, here on this channel, we make sure our sources are credible and thorough to ensure the viewer is getting the most accurate information out there. So, sit back and enjoy the video. Number three, A+. Plus. Coming in at number three on the list of the most expensive yachts in the world is A+, plus, aka the yacht formerly known as Topaz. Just last year, the yacht's name was changed from Topaz to A+. Plus. There was no indication as to why. It seems the yacht's owner just got bored of the name, or perhaps was celebrating some good grades. Well, in any case, A Plus has a hefty price tag of $527. Ooh! I like that. By <laughs> a boat yacht you'll be very familiar with if you're up to date in the world of super yachts. Topaz was birthed in Germany in May of 2012. The yacht's owner is believed to be Sheik Mansour, an Emirati politician who is Sheik Mansour. That's a weird name. And the Minister of Presidential Affairs and member of the Royal Family of Abu Dhabi. So it's no surprise that a man of such prestige and reputation would cash out on a yacht this expensive. The exterior of A Plus was designed by Tim Haywood, a prolific naval architect, and the interiors crafted by Terence Disdale, a man of similar status. These two men have won countless awards for their exterior and interior design of yachts and have over 70 years of super yacht experience between the two of them. Given the gigantic price tag of A Plus, ah. it's safe to assume she herself is quite large, and that assumption is confirmed. When basking at her full yeah, I like that one. That's pretty cool. This size adds up to a gross tonnage of 11,589. That's over 2 million pounds. The twin Pialstick diesel engine Ooh, comes with a power-packed nice. 7,990 horsepower engine to pull at a service speed of 22.9 knots and accelerating to a maximum speed of over 25.5 knots. To put it simply, a lot of money was spent to ensure this massive boat could still be it around pretty quickly. A plus is equipped with two diesel generators to provide power to the stabilizers well, for nice. equipment on board. It also comes with an emergency backup diesel generator for redundancy. The yacht features a steel displacement hull and an aluminium megastructure with eight gorgeous decks of lookouts to marvel at. The interior extravagance of A plus showcases a large jacuzzi, a swimming mm. dock with a built-in, <laughs> guessed it, swimming pool, two helicopter landing pads, a state-of-the-art gymnasium, a home theater, and a massive conference room. All the features of A+, Plus add up to a massive and incomprehensibly expensive boat, and we're only at number three in our countdown. Number two. Farewell, expensive fitness gear. I can't afford Yeah, no, I don't like ads either. Awesome. At number two on our list, we find oh. ourselves with some similarities to A+. Azam was also... Y'all can watch the video, don't worry about it. And the owner is also a powerful man from the United Arab Emirates. And of course, the most striking similarity, Azam is also worth hundreds of millions of dollars. Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nayyan, president of the United Arab Emirates and Emir of Abu Dhabi, boasts this incredible vessel, and it only cost him $650 million. This makes it the world's second most 
expensive luxury yacht in existence, some in the camp of Ol Nayon have made the claim that Azam is the most complex and challenging yacht that has ever been built. Once you take a look into the dimensions of Azam, that claim really starts to add up. Measuring in at 590 feet long, this super yacht that is the more largest long yacht in the world, deep than from the previous largest Which yacht. Which that makes sense. And yet, even the largest super yacht is one of the fastest, reaching speeds of more than 30 knots or 35 miles an hour. Needless to say, it's technology marvel. The luxury interiors were designed by French interior decorator Christophe Leone. His intent upon the design of the vessel was to inspire a sense of sophistication and luxury oh, in the turn of the century. Empire big style. Rounded things on the top. To the reclusiveness of its billionaire owner. But even with such limited information, Azam has so much to mm, offer, its wonderment is hardly lacking. Number one, the Eclipse. Finally, we've mm. reached the penultimate super yacht in existence. Oh, and it just so happens that the second largest yacht in existence that was mentioned previously is, in fact, the most expensive yacht in the world. Rumored to be worth anywhere from $800 million to $1.5 billion. The Eclipse Ooh. is the the finale of this extravagant podium. Russian billionaire Roman Abramovich is the proud owner of the Eclipse, and he has made sure to put his own personal touches on his multi-hundred million dollar yacht. Abramovich has an affinity for safety that is evident in the specs of the Eclipse. For the sake of maximum security, the Eclipse is fitted with intruder detection systems and a missile defense system. The master bedroom and bridge of the yacht comes loaded with armor plating and bulletproof windows. Furthermore, this unique vessel totes an anti-paparazzi shield, which consists of lasers that sweep the surrounding area of the hull. Upon detection of possible marking professional photographers... Okay, yeah, they were just too boring on the toilet. Unlike our previous yachts, the Eclipse was built by Blom and Voss of Hamburg, another German boat yacht. The incredible boat measures 536 feet long, only beaten in that category by Azam. The Eclipse's immense size allows space for the boat's many extravagant features, including 24 guest cabins, two swimming pools, several hot tubs, a disco hall, two helicopter pads, three launch boats, and even a mini submarine capable oh, of submerging yeah. up to 50 meters underwater. In order to maintain such an immense vessel, a 70-member crew is on staff daily on the yacht. The upkeep of boats like these cost millions of dollars every year. Trust me, it is certainly not a one-time expense. But if you've got the money to spend somewhere around one billion dollars, I don't think you're worried about the tens of millions it takes to keep that investment afloat. So, there you have it. The three most expensive yachts Ooh, okay. So, we're gonna go ahead and cut the video there. Hope y'all enjoyed. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you'll never miss another video. Um, uh, more videos coming soon. I know I do upload a lot, so you might get tired of my videos, but um, I do it for you guys um out there who enjoy my videos and um just hope y'all enjoy enjoy the videos um um i'll have more of these reaction videos up my guy reacts um with my friends with um maybe weston maybe jack and ryan jack and ryan are um my friends that live right down the street too but uh, maybe with Hank, but um, that will be it for today's video, um, and I will see y'all in the next one. Peace! Oh.